So the next gen update came out for Fallout 4 right as it's having a resurgence due to the fact that the Fallout TV show actually ended up being pretty spectacular. So this new update has come out that is supposed to come with some visual improvements though at least from everything that I can see it's only visual improvements on consoles but it does actually include some new content. But I want to see if this update did anything to break performance on these mini PCs like the one right here that is running a Ryzen 7 5700. U, an APU that is at this point around five years old, but is still being sold today because it can do some pretty surprising things. And I'm confident that it, if it could run well on here, it's going to run well on practically anything. So let's take a look at how it actually performs. Now the game defaulted to the ultra graphic settings, and this really seemed extremely ambitious for this little APU. And very clearly things were falling apart immediately. It was not going to be an enjoyable experience, but I did think that maybe we could use FSR to fix this. Unfortunately, AMD felt it wasn't necessary to port over their generic FSR driver level implementation over to these Vega APUs, so we're forced to use a third party program like the lossless scaling tool. Now, another thing about Fallout is that if you change it from full screen to windowed mode, you are actually more limited in the amount of resolutions you could choose from. I mean, we lose out on 900p and the only other option that we have is 720p. So this is 720p being upscaled with FSR. And as you can see, it doesn't exactly perform great. It is at least an improvement where our 1% lows are no longer in the teens, but being in the mid 20s isn't exactly great. And our FPS average isn't looking great either. Sure, it's above 30 FPS, but with the 1% lows being as bad as they are and just turning around showing some major fluctuations in the frame times, it overall shows that this this is not going to be a great gaming experience. So Ultra was clearly out of the question, but even dropping down to the high graphics preset really didn't net us much of an improvement at all. This of course being back at the full 1080p resolution, 720p with FSR really just did not seem worthwhile, but there is at least somewhat of an improvement going with high, but it's just not worth the effort. Now when I dropped everything down to the lowest graphical settings, then here we actually were getting a very playable gaming experience. And at this point, if I did not have the FSR, FPS counter on, I would be more than comfortable with playing the game like this. So it is at least playable at the full 1080p resolution, but you do have to sacrifice essentially all the graphical effects. So any of the visual improvements that came with the next gen upgrade are really not going to be here, but at least you are going to be able to play through the new content that's been added. So that's already a pretty big plus. But if you really want to have an above 60 FPS gaming experience here, you are going to have to turn things down, specifically drop the resolution to 900p. Now, I mentioned before that if you switch the game over to windowed mode, the lowest or rather the next resolution you could go down to is 720p. At full screen resolution, you're actually able to go down to 900p. The only reason I went with windowed mode before was because I need to use windowed mode to be able to use the lossless scaling tool to upscale things. But if I just drop the resolution to 900, 900p and play this at the lowest graphics settings, I'm actually able to get a very fantastic experience that even in the most demanding areas in this game is actually going to be able to keep up. This is of course a very old APU, but this is also a pretty old game. Just getting a new coat of paint thrown on it. And honestly, the next gen upgrade really isn't all that next gen. It doesn't really do much to change the visuals all that dramatically, but it is of course a free update. But there's not really much to complain about, especially considering that it did come with some new content. And thankfully, you are going to be able to play through all of that on this little system here. But I'll catch you guys in the next one.